Okay, this is vlog number seven now. Uh, a little vlog series where I talk about my cartoons and the themes in them and I go a little deeper uh, so I can... because the cartoons are sometimes just silly but I have a better message behind them or just something I want to discuss further. And today's one is here, the main one I want to talk about. I'm going to leave it there for a second. And uh, I'm not, not going to talk particularly about this cartoon at length but rather the theme that has been running uh, pretty consistently through most of my cartoons and it's just been on my mind in general is realists versus optimists and I've, I've been watching a lot of YouTube channels and videos that talk about like different uh, uh, political systems and different views on the world and one one particular group of people that comes across on these videos a lot are realists people who know how the world really works uh, and and everyone else is just being either way too optimistic uh, or perhaps be too uh, pessimistic is that the right word doesn't matter um, anyway, they, but they put it, about, put it across as wisdom. They're like, well, you know, this is just how the world works, and at the end of the day, blah, 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 blah. Um, while they put it forward as wisdom, it frustrates me because I see it almost as a disregarding new ideas and dreams. Um, shooting these dreams down way, uh, way, way too soon in the process um, before they can actually reach their full potential. And uh, the way this kind of plays into this cartoon is kind of uh, people say, okay, so yes, yeah, so this pigeon is it, it has to murder <laughs> in order to succeed in, in a in a marketplace, a competitive marketplace. And um, a lot of people would just say, well, that's just how it is, you know, that's just how you ha how it works in in our society. You have to be cutthroat. You have to you have to push people aside in order to succeed. And that's just how it is. It's how the world works. That is then just being lazy because we could just do better. We can just change the system. We've made all of this up. We've made this, every system up. We've made this entire society and reality up. It's not really a tangible thing. We can change it. We can change everything about it. Um, so to just say this is how it is, when it's clearly a terrible way to go about it, Regardless of it creates com competition, like the human humans have the ability to work together to f uh, to further our goals. So that's my point, right? Um, it's it's good to know reality. It's good to know human nature. But when you give it too much power, it becomes uh, an overwhelming force and becomes extremely dangerous. And you see this when I, I would say people perhaps. This is a heavy topic, but uh, in like sexual um, uh, advances or, or not sexual advances, but like um, misconduct. All right, so sexual assaults and things like that. People giving them giving their uh, emotions and their urges and their animalistic parts way too much power, taking them way too seriously. When even if something like that crops up, even if you feel something. You are a human being and you have the decision to do what you want with that emotion, with that feeling, with that with yeah, with that instinct. So to just accept human nature or to accept a situation just leads to dangerous further situations, um, dangerous encounters. You have to aim for the best case scenario at all times, otherwise you can't possibly get there. You can't possibly get there. Um, this is a good example with like Elon Musk, and he comes up in almost every vlog, but I guess he's on my mind a lot. Um, when he talks about taking us to Mars, and there's always people on the side who scoff and say, well, wow, it's so unlikely it's almost impossible. If you take that stance, then you immediately, it is impossible at that point. You have to aim for the best case scenario, the the, the most obscure, the, yeah, just the best case scenario. Otherwise, you can't get there. You cannot get there if you say that it's probably not going to happen and just accept that. Never accept less than the best case scenario for yourself and for the human race and for whatever systems we're using that are mostly bullshit. <coughs> you are shooting yourself in the foot and everyone else in the foot around you. Be an optimist. Understand the world. Try and have a have a broad understanding. Try and be realistic, but dream big. Be optimistic. <laughs> what are these like little fucking stupid um seminars? Like what do you call it? like a like um a pep talk? Uh, there's another word. 
feel like I'm standing in an office. Uh, motivational speaking, there you go. I feel like a fucking stupid motivational speaker. Anyway, but it's on my mind. Be optimistic. Aim for the best. And don't give anything too much power. Don't give the worst case scenarios too much power. Especially don't give your own nature too much power. You have the ability to choose better. And to be better. So that's on my that's just what's been on my mind lately. <laughs> what a wanker, right? Alright, no, see ya. Bye!